Hello dear students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting video, I would like to tell you some suggestions. Please watch video till the end and sit with copy pen. If you find somewhere important, pause the video, note it and proceed further. If you find any difficulties, then please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problems when I get the time. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you. Now what the question says, two thin circular disc of mass M and 4M having radii of A and 2A respectively are rigidly fixed by massless right rod of length L equal to root 24A through their center. This assembly is laid on a firm and flat surface and set rolling without slipping on the surface so that the angular speed about the axis of rod is omega. The angular momentum of the entire assembly about the point O is L vector and which of the following statement is uh, true means multiple choice question. Here you have given four options. The magnitude of angular momentum of the assembly about the center of the mass is 17 m a square omega by 2. Option B, the magnitude of the z component of L is 55 m a square omega. Option C, the magnitude of angular momentum of center of mass of the assembly about the point O is 81 m a square omega. And option D, the center of mass as of assembly rotates about the z-axis uh, with an angular speed of omega by 5. This question is asked JE Advanced 2016 paper second. Clearly you can see that this single rod and disc is connected are attached with this single rod. Okay. So therefore we can say that net angular momentum is equal to the sum of momentum of both the disc L1 and L2. Is it clear? Now L equal to what is the formula of angular momentum? You can take two formulas MVR and second formula I omega. So here I am taking here R cross P angular linear momentum into R r1 p1 plus r2 cross p2 okay what is r here you have given the length l and what is p linear momentum mass into velocity here mass is given m and velocity is v v1 and for same things we have doing here length is 12 because l and 2L total length L and L 2L total distance is 2L okay so here we have put here 2L in the place of R2 and uh, in the place of P2 linear momentum what is the mass mass is given 4m okay and uh, linear velocity is V2 okay it is clear now now L capital L angular momentum equal to length L M and what is the relation of linear velocity and angular velocity omega and uh, what is the radius here radius is A 2L into 4 M and what is radius? Radius is given again 2a. So L equal to L M omega a plus 2L 4 to the 8 to the 16 L M a. Then total 17. Seventeen L M Omega A 
and now we have given the option l is eliminated because relation is given what is relation is given l is given root 24a now in the option b 55 m omega uh, m a square omega means l we have to be eliminated what is the value of l according to condition l is given root 24 root 24 a m omega a then 17 root 24 can be written as 6 for the 24 it means 2 root 6 a into a a square m omega then after multiplying 17 to the 34 and uh, root 6 root 6 uh, 2.45 approximately 2.45 a square m omega and then multiply you will get approximately 83 a square m omega and here the option b is given that 55 m a square omega means b option is incorrect okay b is incorrect now let's see next portion now you can see that both the disc are connected to single rod means angular velocity is remain same but their moment of inertia is different but net angular velocity is equals to, uh, angular momentum is i1 omega plus i2 omega right here L equal to what is the moment of inertia of disc one by two m r square but what is the here uh, uh, radius radius is a so m a square omega plus i two i two one by two here what is the mass mass is given four m and uh, what is the radius two a whole square and omega. Then L equal to one by two m a square omega plus one by two four m two square means four a square omega two two is a four. Then L equal to one by two m a square omega plus four two is a eight m a square omega. Taking the LCM two eight two is a sixteen and one seventeen m a square omega. Let's see. Which option is matches to our answer? The magnitude of angular momentum of the assembly about the, its center of mass is 17 m a square omega upon 2. Yes, option A is correct. A is correct. Let's see third option. Here C option is also wrong because here given that 81 m a square omega and our answer is uh, 83 last time we have already solved 83 m a square omega so therefore c is also incorrect and last point uh, the center of mass of the assembly rotates about the z axis with an angular speed of omega by 5 let's see uh, this answer will be correct or not here omega z angular velocity at that z axis omega z equal to omega sin theta sin component and you can see that it is the theta this is the base this is perpendicular and this is hypotenuse so omega and uh, length is a and hypotenuse is a square plus l square then omega z A square in the place of L, it can be written as 24 root 24 A. Then its square is 24 A square. Then omega A, 24 A square and A square 25 A square. It means 5 A, and A cancel out and omega by 5. So therefore, our last option D is also correct. So which answers matches A and A and D, A and D correct answer. I hope so. You understand this question. Thank you for staying till the end of this video. And yes, let me remind you again. Don't forget to subscribe this channel because you will get the link for the next video. Bye bye.